But uh, this is what I want to say. I don't think I ever said this. Uh, Call of Duty. Did I say it on here? What? I played the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, you said it. You said there was no... Uh... No, no. That was the... F- no, that was my first uh, accusation. Okay. Was there's no swastikas and there's You said there's checks. plenty of them. And then I started to play the campaign and like right away you see swastikas and it's all white guys. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, good. This is exactly never... what it should be. Then I kept playing. Uh-oh. And in like the third level, this they're like... We've got to meet up with British special forces. I thought you were... Of course, it's a fucking British chick. I thought it was Black Hitler, dude. Black, I, thought they showed, no. I thought it was Black Hitler. You can, that's all in multiplayer. You can you can be a black chick on multiplayer. That's sick. But uh, you meet up with this British chick who's got like a machine gun and rolls. She's like, oh, we gave Jerry a good fight, huh? It's like, uh, no, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> so then the same level that... You're, you're trying to shoot her the whole yeah, time? Yeah, I was. Thing, like, get out of here. It's like friendly fire will not be tolerated. You should have her in the sub- you should put her, her in the submarine, dude. I kept fragging her. I was throwing grenades. I'd be like, grenades out. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. You should have fucking took her in the submarine, submarine dude. Be like, I don't know. She, she had an accident. <laughs> she bumped her head. And the next thing I knew, I was chopping her up. <laughs> but uh, then the next level, you're a French female resistance fighter. And it's just like... Wait, a plug in fucking vets? What? Like D-Day level? Well, they already did that, but then you're in France, and now you're a female French resistance civilian. Oh, so you're against the French government? No, you're against the Nazis that are occupying France as a French civilian. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm thinking, yeah, sorry. But then they just they just took movie, they just made it every single movie. So like the opening scene, they just made Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, like, yeah. To the point where when they lower the doors down, the machine guns come in, you jump over the sides... It does the in and out of the water shot. Yeah. You know what like, I mean? <gasps> yeah. And then when you land on the beach, a bomb goes off and it does that ringing noise and you look around in slow-mo. Yeah. And then, but the, then when you're the French lady who's a spy, they just copied Inglorious Bastards. Like German officers will come up to you and they're all like giddy. Like what's his name is in Inglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, like that's a bingo. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. so fun to speak English. <laughs> and then. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. It's just like, God damn it, dude. Trying to fucking kill Nazis. I'm trying to play World War II. Yeah, and no I one's... still have to be a, fee- a kick-ass lady. I feel like that's in everything now, though. It's like a lot of songs are just pure samples of other songs. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. the video games, there's no like original storyline. The video game was just pure every World War II movie. That sucks. And then it was... Uh, it's because we're not fucking letting ourselves do deep work anymore. I could tolerate the French Resistance female. Yeah. Because that was real. They yeah. did have those. But just this British female with a machine special gun, special forces, like follow me. Like no, it's like what the fuck, dude. That sucks. Why are they doing this? I mean, it'd be like Red Dead Redemption, and it's just like a gang of like hot chicks out in the desert who are cowboys. You'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna break in there and kill them. Yeah, I'm gonna get a submarine. Yeah, that sucks. And I, I mean, I would be willing to guess if you were to do like the stats on people who played that game. Uh, yeah, 90, you're not helping anyone. Ninety percent men. You're not helping anyone. Yeah, that's all men. But it's you know it gets but in the that new- game. It's I mean it's a World War Two game. Yeah, it's like these were not fucking females. Yeah, but everything's made now to be blogged about and to inc- like, get yeah, yeah, some yeah. sort of outrage. So now it's like a bunch of people are like what the fuck, and then everyone's like, well, I don't see this. It's game. Like, there's a really strong female character in the yeah. new Call of Duty. Congratulations, Call of Duty. Every time they do a future yeah. one, it's female soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And you can't argue that. You no, can't be like, future. God damn it, <laughs> future. But uh, still, every time, like they're not going to use them. Get out of here. Yeah, I mean, by, I'm hoping we're not, like, by then, fucking all the hot chicks aren't, like, shooting robots out of the sky. That'd be, that'd be negative. That'd be, I, I, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I, women can do... My whole thing is, like, you guys want to join the army? Join the fucking army. You want to work construction? Fucking by all means. I will stay home. I would love to see you guys go do that shit. Woo! I mean, I just fucking go do it. I tried to join it the sucks. army. It sucks. There's a reason <laughs> they use guys the for it. There's a reason. There. It sucks. I was too feminine. You were. I was too. I'm too much of a lady. I was in the military, just like I gotta find a job where I could sleep all day. <laughs> yeah, not the fucking military. My thing is like they use guys for that because it fucking sucks. Yeah, of course. It's like go do it. I'm not like you can if you if you want to be in the army or if you want to run a jackhammer, fucking by all means. It fucking blows. Yeah. Consider yourselves fucking lucky. You ever tamp in ninety degree <laughs> it heat? Sucks. It sucks. Fucking blows. It Although fucking I love the tamper. Dude. Tamper is my tamping is pretty. Tamping is the shit. But... I actually, I'm a, I'm a jackhammer master, dude. Really? Yeah. I'm I, mean, I, I, I the only thing I ever. But do you is go, tamp. you go home and your and your knuckles Still your knuckles vibrate shit. for like three <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah. It's like I could do that. It's like yeah. It's it, all this shit reminds me of when I wanted to mow the lawn when I was ten. 
I was like, I can mow the lawn, Dad. And he was like, all right, mow the fucking lawn. <laughs> then then I did it. Like, God damn it. Yeah, I did it. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. And I got done. My dad's like, you ready to mow the lawn again? I was like, nah, I'm cool. I did it. And he's like, no, you had to mow the lawn forever now. And I was like, fuck. Yep. That's, I mean, dude, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have chicks chilling on like a steel beam. And they're going to be like, the fuck am we I doing? fucked up. I could have been wearing like a weird wraparound infinity scarf in an office right now, fucking sitting on my that's ass. A, well, they, they like to point to World War II when they helped in the factories. Mm-hmm. They're like, women can do it. We're kick-ass. It's like, the only reason you did that is because guys weren't there. Yeah. And they needed someone. Yeah. And then when the guys came back, back inside for you. Or, fuck, dude. Congratulations. You're out of the factory. Go to the, yeah, exactly. Go to the fucking uh, Ford <laughs> factory, dude, and have a blast. <laughs> oh, man. It fucking I sucks. worked in a factory with ladies. Did you? And they were the You worked most, in the ice cream factory. Yeah, the, uh, the creamery. <laughs> they were the most sexist, perverted really? ladies. I got me too every single day. In the, They're what, like, what are you studying to be a doctor? Because if you go to college and work in a factory, you just yeah, you're like good college hunting, boy. Dude. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, what else yeah. is going on? That that happened. In Super Bowl commercials that the fucking neo Marxists have fully infiltrated our dude. society. I mean, there's that. Oh, I just, hold on. Go ahead, ahead this please, one. please. There was a uh, you know on Facebook. There's all those like now this videos, all that shit. Yeah. There was a video about how hard it is to be a black quarterback, and like all the racial is that a commercial stereotypes. It was like, I, no, it wasn't a commercial okay. on the Super Bowl. It was just a video on my phone. Uh-huh. It was fucking brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. B Dubs? B Dubs fucking had a video out that was like <laughs> describing the hardships of being a black quarterback. Yeah, that's the new advertising now. Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, B Dubs, dude. B Dubs is getting in on the social justice movement. I mean, dude. The fact that corporations are doing that is just dude, you, you, mind blowing. You have to watch Century of the Self. You must you must all right, watch this. All right, all right. It's all they're doing. That's that's been going on since the forties, and now yeah, it's yeah, like with the smoking thing with the smoking thing. But right now, it's like, how do I explain this? So the guy figured out basically that people are mainly irrational and driven by emotions. So it's like that's the whole thing of like putting a hot woman in a car, and a guy sees a woman and is like, like when he goes to buy that car, he's not going by like logic. He's being like. There's like the underlying okay. like reproductive force, so he's yeah. just kind of like, "Oh, that chick's hot. I want to buy that car." So now people got hip to that. So now the big thing is people want to like change the world. So if you can give, if you can give people the feeling they're changing the world, then they'll buy something. Hyundai did that. Yeah, dude. They every fucking commercial Hyundai did it with a. Every time you buy a Hyundai, they donate money to pediatric cancer research. Yep. I think, dude. I saw more one-legged Olympic <laughs> athletes during the Super Bowl yeah, yeah, commercials. Yeah, yeah. I saw there's like ten. Everyone was like, "Damn it!" They and have the, the Rock fucking... had one leg in that one commercial. Dude, there was so many preview. Mad one-leggeds. There was a bunch of pirates, dude. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of like peg legs, peg dude. Boys, dude. What dude was that fucking... it was, I was watching that, and then there's this is like the final, I think, siren song of like writing a commercial to where it's like. Hey, you guys seen a lot of commercials? Yeah. This isn't just like a commercial. They like kind of like do like overused commercial tropes and yeah. be like, we're not like them. And it's like, so then you think like, oh, cool. I get it too. These guys get it. And you're like, yeah, yeah fuck you. Yeah, I love Geico. The whole thing is fucking so <laughs> How weird. How about the, uh, there was the one of the female skier that was always faster than the boys was her motto. I didn't even see that. She I grew up being a kick ass woman. I think I was eating wings right then. Yeah. You were eating. B dubs, dude. I'm, you got <laughs> tricked by the black quarterback <laughs> inspirational video. But yeah, that's that is, dude. I'm not trying to take credit. I called this five years ago. I'm like, if you want to sell things to people like 30 and under, just convince them they're changing the world. Yeah. So if you're like, like the, some of them were like, we could all be together and we can all act, uh, and it's just kind of like financial insurance. Yeah. Buy it. There's one that's all the babies. There's all these different race babies. Mm-hmm. Did you see that one? Mm-mm. It was the craziest one. What was it? It was like. Hello, little ones. And it's a white baby, a black baby, an Asian baby, you know. Yeah. And it's like, you believe that we are all equal, that there shouldn't be a pay gap, <laughs> a wage gap, like all this crazy shit. And it was like, welcome to, like, you guys are equality. It's all about equality. Fucking T Mobile. Oh. <laughs> There's just a T Mobile symbol at the end. Dude, I'm telling you, man. It was babies, sh- and they were like, you guys are the generation that's going to believe everybody's equal. It doesn't matter who you love. And wage gap. They threw the wage gap in. It's getting it creepier was and creepier. Nuts. That dude. was the crazy, crazy that's, one. That's how, you sell, that's how you sell products. You turn to someone's emotions and then they go like, yeah, that company, that's a good company. And even if you, and then it's like you, these things are running all day long, every day. That's why every company on the billboards was like, go Eagles, go Eagles, go Eagles. If you love the Eagles and you see the Eagles, you're putting together all the yeah. companies with it. And then you go get a bank and out of nowhere, you're like, I think I'm going to go with Citizens. And it's just kind of <laughs> just like, why'd you pick it? It's fucking, dude, I, I'm like... 
that's my number one thing. After you watch that documentary and you watch you watch commercials, it fucking freaks you out. Yeah, the Super they, Bowl ads. Were they tough. assume that you're a creature with no brain that you just kind of like operate off your spinal cord and your nervous system. You're just like, <laughs> freaks me the fuck out, dude. Well, did you see the parade? <laughs> the fucking post game. That's mm, pretty much it. What happened? A bunch of people operating off their fucking vertebrae. That's true. You're talking about like the people just reptiles scurrying around the streets of Philadelphia. Yeah, that would dude. Saying like you're not wrong to say that there's a lot of brainless. No, people those out there. old rich guys in like the 1910s were onto something. They were basically yeah. like, I'm the top. The other people are totally idiots, and you know, here's how we trick them, and it fucking worked. Yeah, there's. Did you see the Hyundai commercial about the pediatric one? The Pedi- one I think I think it was pediatric cancer. But oh god, I did. Yeah. So it's like we people that would buy a Hyundai. They would take them into a room and have oh, have yes. a cancer patient be like, thank you for oh. buying a Hyundai and saving me. And then the oh. real person would come out and hug the people. And they cry and, and shit. And they would cry. And then some of the Hyundai people, I remember one lady was like, you're welcome. It's like, what? You, what? Dude. You fucking fat bitch. Are you serious? It's disgusting, dude. It's, it's, I, that commercial, I think, was the most disturbing out of all the baby of them. one. Baby one was the pure cancer. globalist neo Marxist. That I mean the fuck it. Yeah, that's true. The Tide was also pretty smart. Tide was putting themselves in other commercials. Yeah, and then like funny. then you never knew like is this a fucking like is it, you, you were always on guard like is this going to be a Tide commercial? Tide so sick. you just thought Tide a lot. See, I was hammered and I missed all these. And then I, I rewatched the game last night. Okay, the Tide. Yeah, the Tide commercial was Super pretty. But that was they're the same thing of being like, oh, what commercials? Huh? They're dumb, and it's like. <laughs> This is a fucking commercial, dude. Yeah. You're not above the medium of a commercial just because you say it. Um, so, yeah, the Marxists slid in. Dude, I got that's... attacked by a lady at, at the club the other night. Um, this weekend at Bananas. <laughs> Bananas Comedy Club. Uh, the host, uh, Camacho is his last name. Nice. I have, sure a, I'm I'm a, that right. I have a cousin's I, cousin named Camacho. He's a good bull. What was his first name? Ra- James. Okay. James. And... Uh, I think it's Camacho, but whatever. James, yeah. he was funny. He's a New York kid. And he went on and was like, he was talking about how he's half Asian, half Puerto Rican. Okay. His mom's Chinese, his dad's Puerto Rican. And uh, he was talking about divert. Like, he was talking about how, you know, his life growing up like that, mm-hmm. standard stuff. And then I followed him and I was like, I did not know that guy was diverse. Thought for sure he was white. I was back right before the show. I was giving him the old fucking inside white guy talk. I was like, really? yo, I saw Star Wars, a little too much diversity. You know what I mean? Like, I was talking to him like he was a white guy. <laughs> and that reminds me of, uh, I saw Star Wars. There was too much diversity. I heard, I have heard about the fallout about it. I've been it reading about it. It was ridiculous. What was it? Well, it, all right. It's not the most ridiculous thing in the world, but it's just like, it's a little heavy handed. Really? Like I, was, I was watching it by myself, just sitting there, uh-huh. empty theater, one in the afternoon, it Middle was, of New Jersey, just really? loving life. You think you got tricked by a genie, dude? I think a genie might have. When I went back and spliced a bunch of people sure, into the film? Perhaps, but uh, <laughs> one of the... It's just like... So they've diversified the movie. They've made okay. it more diverse, which is cool, but they only made the rebellion diverse. So like they inserted more women, some black guys, some purple-haired lady... Some fucking Asians. I heard the purple hair lady got a lot of backlash. Purple hair lady was atrocious. Really? It was really bad. But uh, So the rebellion in Star Wars now is like... The rebellion's diverse. The Empire, all the, all the bad guys, Darth, stayed white. Darth Trump? Stayed white British dudes. Really? Like, we have them, yeah. So we should destroy them. <laughs> Sir, please, can we kill these rebellion? This and that's the, the funniest them. part about that movie is that, like, if you even live in America, you're on the Death Star. Yeah, for it's sure. Like, Welcome, dude. Yeah, you are the you, empire. You're all, yeah, exactly. You're part of it. So, like, basically, the rebellion is the fucking Taliban. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they're fighting sky robots. They're fighting fucking literally. Yeah, that is the funniest thing to me. People are like, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, dude. You like hate this country and all, but you're yeah. kind of you're a stormtrooper that's sitting there like, maybe we should be nicer to Ewoks, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Get in line. <laughs> okay, but that is funny they did that because that's yeah. like, you know, and it's. You can see how they'd make an effort to do that, but I can see what you're saying. If it's being yeah, like... there's a fucking attack, like the the space battle scenes. It's all like chick pilots fighting against bad guys. Yeah, I mean that's just yeah, and it's that's like, just gonna be red team go. And it's like, oh, god damn it. Yeah, that's gonna Why be. Why are the we way, doing this? That's gonna be the way. That's gonna be the way it is, dude. I was watching Star Wars, and then they just kept doing shit like, 
a, a, like the purple haired lady comes out of nowhere and is like, I'm the captain now. I have like, you're just a trigger happy man. Can a woman please control yeah. that? And it's, I'm sitting there. I'm like, they they say they go like that deep into yes. it. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, can it, can I just watch Star Wars? Can I just not have this jam down my fucking throat Damn. for two seconds? You can't. I'm in a theater by myself in New Jersey just trying to watch a fucking movie I love <laughs> since I was a kid. Yeah, I've loved like Star this Wars, shit. Yeah. Love Star Wars. Yeah. And I sit down. I'm so happy the fucking mm-hmm. Star Wars comes on the screen. It's like, fuck yeah, this is going to be awesome. And then like within a minute, it's like three strong Asian ladies are blowing up a fucking <laughs> thing. And I'm just like, God, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> So you think all it should just be straight white men fucking Not exclusively, fighting. but if it's going to be fighting, <laughs> yes. Not just white men. There should yeah, be yeah. some black guys and some aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Get some aliens in there. Yeah, hell yeah. But if it's fighting. I know what you mean. If you're, if you're fucking. Why are we going to do this? Why are yeah. we pretending that like. Well, especially the video game. It's like. So I, I mean, mean, if it's a World War II game and we're throwing in black ladies or any ladies, doesn't yeah. matter if they're black. It's yeah. just like. The U.S. now hardly uses females yeah. in combat. I've never, yeah, if I've never they heard even of do. It. I, I don't know if they it. do. They probably got a couple fucking Hellraisers, but sure. I'm, it's probably like. But it's like I don't why, know. If they're are, kicking in the why door. Why are we pretending that like now we're gonna just rewrite history? Not rewrite history because it's a fucking video game. But still, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, but still, be like, and this is where the black women stormed Normandy. Thank you, <laughs> dude. That's that is funny. It, it's funny too because it's like I mean, you, and you know this, you could totally just be like whatever. But there is a part when you're playing it and you're storming D Day and you're just like, is that a fucking black chick who just blew up in a mortar? You're like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, like, and now you get they, shot. You're, why you have, did they ruin this? You have the German shooting at you now. You're just it, I can see that fucking up your gameplay. That where would you're kind of just up, like, dude. now imagine you're getting excited to see Star Wars, dude. And look. I'm all right with Rey, yeah. who's the female Jedi. Sick. Yeah, she's good. That's the, cool. The last one was good. Yeah, the last one was great. It was Finn, fine. The guy Finn, defected. The great. Defected, yeah. I had no problem with that. Yep. It's fucking great. But then, how about 10 more? And it's like, all right. Well, they got praise for it, so they were probably like, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a classic conundrum. Of wait it. till you see, if you see I'm going to watch I'm definitely going to watch it. When you see it, wait till you see how bad this one chick is. Ugh. One of the main characters now in this one is this Asian chick. What'd she do? She just is it. You'll I've been, see. You'll I've been see. watching a show with Lucy Lou it's recently. So bad. I've been watching a show with Lucy Lou recently. Lou's I really like. Sick. I really like. It's called uh, Elementary. Yeah, I like it a lot. Lucy Lou is. She's so. Lucy Lou is great. She's so hot. Now, if there was a Star Wars scene in Elementary, I don't think I would want Lucy Lou leading the fight. Really? Although Lucy Lou is pretty good. She's Kill Bill. Yeah, she, she, yeah, can, she, she can, can do the fucking kicks. handle a lightsaber. That's true. Yeah, that's it's odd, but it's also like, I just I wonder what's going to happen. Like, what, are they gonna people gonna get like sick of it, or is it just like? like I was saying, I was today in my car. I was like, we're just getting bullied, and I like everything's just coming back into style. We're just now we have to be gentlemen again. Like in the forties, we had to be like madame, uh, and, like not <laughs> yeah, pull out yeah, our yeah, dicks. Yeah. Now we're back to being like madame, yes. yes. But we can't. We also are in the double bind. We're like, we'd have to like get to a door, then look and like see if she wants to. Because you, if you open in the door, you can also offend. So sure. we have to be like. We have to basically just be weaklings. Here's not, some other ones. I'm sorry. To, I'm just ahead. only yeah, yeah. thinking about yeah, yeah. this now. Is like I was watching Peaky Blinders. I just Great I just show. watched the second. Love the show. Yeah, the second episode. Awesome. You should keep watching it. It's yeah, really I like good. it. But they still toss in like the Peaky Blinders within their gang. Yeah. There's, there's a couple black guys sneaking around. You'll see that. In the Peakies. Yeah. And it's like, dude, this is 1920s or 19, yeah, 20s fucking England. And yeah. these are gypsies from England. Like, how open-minded do you think these dudes are? I don't know. And also, and that's another thing, because you can, you can be like, of Jama- course there there's are black like, people. There's Jamaicans and shit, Of course there's shit, Caribbean, yeah. of course there's black people from, in, in England. It's in a city, it's all that. So, yeah. like, so yeah, that could have been there. Yeah. It's unlikely, probably. Yeah. But yes, it could. Same thing that happened in fucking Battlefront, that video game. Yeah. The American guys are black. In Battlefront what? In the Battlefront, it's like a World War One game. Okay. It's like, do they have black they did. troops? They did, yeah. But that's like one percent of the United States mm-hmm. forces over there. Yeah, it's like that's who we're going with. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna get mad. <laughs> but I like my soldiers in my video games white, and I like my Star Wars white. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick, dude. It's it is funny. I mean, the Peaky Blinders one is like, I I don't know anything it's just about they England. They inserted it. Yeah. Like, it's clear that they inserted it. There's yeah. a fucking black priest that the Peaky Blinders go to. Like, they needed they needed yeah. 
to insert. See, black I can people. get that. I can just you know. When I I'm brush watching, it off. But when I, yeah. When you know, like in Louis, Louis had just super white kids, and then his wife was just black. And you yeah. can watch a show, and it's just like. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't affect me. Yeah. But it's just when you can see it, it's clear what they're doing. Yeah, of course. You know why they're doing it. That's for a it. modern purpose, a current yeah. purpose. Yeah, exactly. They're making a historical piece. And then they're like, here's some, we got to make sure today mm -hmm. people are happy about it. Yeah. And like. Well, it's actually pretty smart. You if you think about it, it's, well, maybe it is. Because it's like, you you just get nothing but praise. And if anyone is like, what the fuck? Why'd you, why'd you like put a bunch of black guys in this? It, it's yeah, just like, yeah. it, the problem just takes yeah. care of what itself. Are you, racist? So you just get all the praise and sure. it's just like, oh, sure. Like stuff. if anybody's like, why the fuck are there so many chicks in yeah. Star Wars now? Like yeah. the rebellions. And see, there's the problem. I, I don't have. A problem with chicks in Star Wars. Yeah. It's funny, though, that they only made the good guys diverse now. Yeah. The Empire is still... They have, like, one chick. Really? one female stormtrooper. Just like an Ann Coulter? Yeah. They have a white <laughs> British female uh, stormtrooper. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the, uh, you know, that's the story of the time. This is a fucking wild cast. It is sick. Uh, that is funny, though, dude, because I, I read about that. And I saw people being like, will you fucking shut up? Oh, boo-hoo. Mm -hmm. That your Star Wars wasn't the way yeah. you wanted it. I was dying. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah. So that's funny. And then it's like, yeah, you can't, you can't complain about it. And nor, nor really should you. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to ever, I'm not going to fucking write a letter. <laughs> That'd be awesome I if you did. I will podcast about it. <laughs> but no. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I don't care. I still liked it. It was so mm -hmm. cool. Star Wars is still the fucking tits. Yeah. But it was it was clear. It's it's funny to see them do it. Like you can, yeah, you, you know see why. the trick now. Yeah, it's like when your parents watch news in the eighties. They were probably like, really, and then you were just sat here being like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now you know exactly what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I love it. I love knowing the score. Fired up dude. when people are trying to get me, dude. I was got last night. <laughs> like, you got triggered at Star Wars. I got fucking triggered at Star Wars, and then I took it out on some poor Asian girl in the front row of that show. And I owe, I, owe, I want to go on the record and apologize. <laughs> you're like Shia LaBeouf in that movie. You're just like fucking hallucinating Asian <laughs> yeah, girls yeah. in the crowd. You're like, you fucking ruined Star Wars. Yeah, there's... You're like a PTSD soldier uh, coming back from Don't war. Don't you dare disrespect the <laughs> soldiers, dude. <laughs> I'm not disrespecting them. You did. Don't compare anything I do to a fucking PTSD soldier. Uh, dude... That's How old hat. You. That's old How hat. Dare That's you. old hat. No one's gonna get fired up for the troops anymore, dude. I've also noticed car commercials are taking a hard liberal stance, which is really funny. Which one? Any any car commercial. It's I know gonna be like a, it's usually a kick ass female or really? a kick ass. Yeah, it's so funny. Next dude. time you see a car commercial, just watch. I'd have to watch. It's hilarious. I know like they've like Subaru went full on like new age hippie kind of like love and family and adventure where the road yeah, yeah, takes yeah, you. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. dude, shut up. Yeah, there's still like... Taking you right to your graphic design cubicle, you fucking dork. Just <laughs> fucking shut up. There's still like kick-ass commercials of like a female chef that like hops into her fucking Camry and uh, just hits the open road. Maria Rodriguez has learned to cook ever since <laughs> yeah, she was a young yes, woman. There's yes. a flame and a pot flying. Yep, I have exactly. fucking seen that a million times. Jesus Christ. She loves her Camry. <laughs> and a bunch of Japanese dudes like, oh, very good. <laughs> Americans are of a, a diversity. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> make a car commercial with a many diversities. That would be so funny. <laughs> this is all just being puppeteered by the <laughs> Japanese. The <Japs. laughs> yeah, they, uh, I was thinking of this. This might be too hot for the cast. I'm going to come off like a racist, but I messaged you that, like, even ESPN. Yeah, like, yeah. Every single media outlet, like, even sports are, like, Here's a here's a story about black guys getting fucked over. Like over and over again. Yeah. Like every single fucking it's crazy. Yeah. It's not the uh And, and the thing that bothers me is not what they're saying, it's why they're saying it. Exactly. It's clearly for profit. Yeah. Hundred percent. They're like, oh, racism is something we can get clicks off of. Yeah. Here's an article about you know. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. It's just them being like well, we got to put it out there, and let's see. Well, some interns yeah. printing out some fucking bullshit. And Every one of those, like, first They're takes, cashing in, dude. It's those pure first takes in. or those shows where those dudes just talk back and forth. They're like, <laughs> does America hate so-and-so because he's black? And then, like, Stephen A. Smith's like, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, man. Like, all right. Who's his boy? I hate his fucking co-host. Max... Keller, I God, think. I fuck. They always play him when I'm in the gym, and I see his fucking he, he's, stupid... He's, he sucks. No, Stephen A. Smith's the worst. 
I never, I don't hear any of them. I just see their faces. So fucking Max Keller is my enemy. They right now. They have commercials that like highlight how fucking brass they like all the fucking bullshit they say. Eastbound and Down fucking crushed. Yeah, them, dude. Did. That's so last good. season. I can't take those shows seriously, dude. Their shows <laughs> the <are> sesh. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> the sesh. Yeah, I mean that's true. They're just everyone's cashing in. It's, it's like it's just, profitable. It's just weird to cash in on racism. The way so many things are. Well, it's a mental trend. You know what I mean? Just to be like, check out this racist piece of shit. And it's like, clearly the guy's a fucking jackass. A lot of those times, it's a fucking retarded person. I see a lot of those videos where like someone's like doing something fucked up. And like, this guy said this. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's yeah, fucking yeah. schizophrenic. Yeah, he gets yeah, like yeah. the shit kicked out of him. Like, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, all... good. How about the lady with the fucking, uh, the Muslim lady punching the kid? It's like, Oh, that's great. No proof of what happened. So, so there's a viral video that's like... A, a girl in a hijab? Is that how you say it? Oh, fuck, you're looking at me, I guess. It's like the turban. Yeah, hijab, yeah, hijab. Hijab, yeah. Uh, but the video is just this chick in a hijab just teeing off on some white kid. Yeah. And then the caption's like, he pulled on her hijab. And yeah. now he's, it's like, Trump supporter pulls on hijab. Dude. And they, ne- they never show what happened. No. They just show... A lady beating up a boy, and they're like, "Go, it's good for her." Hey, first of all, she never hits him. His head movements, yeah, fucking he, he fantastic. Did, dude. Oh, the <laughs> the funniest part of that is he stays in. Yeah, like he stays in punching range. He's in the fucking wheelhouse the whole time. He doesn't throw, but he like puts his hands he up. And he's, he's bobbing and weaving. He is, dude. He's fucking. Like, <laughs> she had good form too. She did. That was a good fucking match. Which leads me to believe that that was two people fucking around, honestly. Yeah, could be. filming it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, again, fucking. People with graduate's degree, like, this girl is a hero. It's like, you don't yeah. know the fucking story. Yeah, they don't show anything. Like, there's a video of this white kid getting knocked out on a basketball court by a Mexican <laughs> kid. And it's like, Trump supporter gets laid out. He never mentions Trump. <laughs> and who's making those viral videos is people who just want to get clicks on anything. Yeah, of course. It's fucking some, like, Egyptian freak in his office. Like, white kid hey, gets knocked out. my brother-in-law is Egyptian. Oh, my bad. I don't you know why. You watch what you say about them. <laughs> why Egyptian? You watch what you say about them. <laughs> You're right. I'm, I'm so sorry. fucking liberal. My bad, dude. God. You know what I'm saying. Yes. I'll be, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to make that up. To me? Yeah. Please. Man, uh, what a man. hot ass fucking cast. This cast is so hot. This is hot as fuck. 